functions in C? Why do we need functions? And what are the different types of functions? Let's figure out answers to these questions in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Link Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Pattar. This video is part of our course that is C Programming for Absolute Beginners 2022. Without any further delay, let's get started. A function is a block of statement which is used to perform specific task. It is a block of code which only runs when it is called. A function can be called multiple times to provide reusability and modularity to the program. In short, a larger program is divided into various sub-programs known as functions. There are few points to be remembered. Main in C program is also a function. Every C program must have at least one function which is main. There is no limit or restriction as such for the number of functions to be used in the program. Now moving on to our next question, why do we need functions? Well, we need functions for the following reasons. By using function, the program will be easier to understand and maintain. It is used to improve the readability of the code. It is also used to improve the reusability of the code. That is, same function can be used repeatedly rather than rewriting. A function can be called any number of times and from any place in the program. Debugging of the code will be easier by using functions. Duplicate sets of instructions can be eliminated by using functions, which in turn reduces the code size. The different types of functions in C programming are predefined standard library functions and user defined functions. Now let's understand them individually. The first type is predefined standard library functions. The standard library functions are the built in functions in C programming. These are the functions which are included in the C header files such as printf, scanf, gets, puts. These functions can be called whenever there is necessity in the program. For example, printf is used to output or print text to the screen which is defined in stdio.h header file. To use the printf function, we must include stdio.h header file in our program. Then the next type is user defined function. A function which is created by the programmer as per the need of the problem statement is called user defined functions. It is basically done to reduce the complexity of the big program and to optimize the code. A function in C program is divided into three parts that is function declaration or prototype, function definition and function call. Now let's understand them individually. Function declaration or prototype. A function must be declared before it is used in the program. Function declaration tells the compiler about the function's name, how to call the function, type of argument, and written values data type. For example, the screen represents the function declaration which is highlighted as point number A. Here, flow theory of circle is declared first before it is used in the program. Then moving ahead to function definition. It contains all the executable statements can be written either before or after the main. But as a standard, it is usually written after the main. For example, the screen represents the function definition which is highlighted as point number B. Here, float area of circle function block contains local variable declarations, executable statements and written statements. Then moving on to the last type that is function call. It calls the actual function, that is, the function is called simply by using the name of the function. Whenever the compiler encounters a function call, the control is transferred to the function definition. It executes the function line by line of that block. And then the computed value is written with the help of written statement back to the main function. For example, the screen represents the function call which is highlighted as point number C. So overall, with the example of area of circle program we have understood about function declaration, function definition and function call. For any queries you can surely comment down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you could enjoy the video content. Consider subscribing to our channel linked frequency and also don't forget to share our videos across your connections. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.